Hi everybody in my Oxford C class for Friday, October 23rd, 2009. This is your teacher again, Daryl. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go over what we went over in class. We're going to go over the unit language, right? We're talking about school, right? School schedules. And in school, there's many different classes, right? You have art class, where you paint, right? You paint in art class. You do sculptures in art class, right? Art class. And there's English class, where you learn to speak English. Sometimes you write in English, in English class. There's music class, where you learn to play the recorder. Do, 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 right? Or you learn to play the guitar, or the violin, or the viola, or cello, okay? And then there's math class, right? 2 plus 2 equals uh, 3? No, 2 plus 2 equals 4. And we have PE, PE where you learn basketball and baseball, and you do exercises, right? You do jumping jacks, right, uh, and other things like that. And it's PE or physical education, right? And then there's science class. Science class. Science class is also a very important class where you learn about different things, chemicals, mixing them together, right? That type of science is called chemistry. When you mix chemicals, you mix them together. You learn about chemicals like air, oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, different types of things. And you learn how to mix things, right? And in science class, you learn maybe about rocks, things like that. And then there's geography. Geo means world, right? You learn about Korea. You learn about the USA. You maybe learn that Washington, D.C. is the capital of the USA. Tokyo is the capital of Japan. And what's the capital of Korea? I don't know. Mm. Seoul is the capital of Korea, right? And then there is computer science. When you learn about computers, right? You learn how to do things with computers. And sometimes you learn how to program computers. And maybe you learn how to make computer games. And then there is history, right? You learn about the history of Korea. You learn about Chosan Dynasty, right? Chosan. You learn about you learn about World War II. You learn about George Washington, things like that. And also, there is other things as well, but those are the main things that you have in your school day, right? And going over to the unit language, we have what do you or what do they have Friday morning, right? Or they have, or you ask, answer, wait, or we say, what does he have Friday morning? What does she have, right? Do you, do they, or we even say, we, right? Do, do, right? Do goes with, do is with you, they, and we, right? Or even, I, right? Or you can say, what do I, right? I, too. You can say that with I. But, when you're talking about he or she, which is the third person, they call it in English, the third person, we say, does. D-O-E-S. Does. And that's he, she, right? Does, okay? And then we say, have on Friday morning. So we say, what What does he have on Friday morning? What does she have on Friday morning? Okay? That's what you have to remember. And I... So we have another thing. 
and this is how we're going to answer it. I have, right? We have, they have, right? Okay. Usually if you an ask what do you have, sometimes you can say we have, right? Or uh, I have, right? We or I, right? And then we say, we could say I, I have, we have, they have, right? They have whatever, math, history, social studies, geography, art, art. Yeah, social studies is like geography. Art, mm, music, PE, physical education, computer science, history, you know, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's what you're talking about. The subject, it's called subject. And then we can say, he or she has, has, not have, has. He or sh she goes with has, right? And I, we, and they go with have, okay? And we say on Friday morning, Monday morning, or Monday afternoon, or even Monday night, right? Sometimes kids go to school at night. All right, and we have do you or do they have, right? Do you or do they have, okay? And we say does he or does she, right? Or you can even say do I, right? Or you can even say do we, right? But he or she, right? No, it's does, right? Same thing, does, but does... So, but the does goes differently because we have, it's a question now, right? Does he, does she? But you say, but does is first. It's not second anymore. It's first, right? Because it's the question, all right? And so we have the dialogue here, and it's, what does, what does Mike have on Monday afternoon? He has history. What does Coco have on Monday morning? She has music, okay? So you're seeing this here. She has, okay? She have? No, she has, okay? He have? No, he has, okay? So that's what we went over for today for... Friday, October 23rd, 2009. This is your teacher, Daryl, and until next class, goodbye.